Hey guys, we are in the Dominican Republic. It's our first full day. We got in yesterday, but it, the sun went down much earlier than I anticipated and we didn't get much sun. So we've just been hanging out by the pool. It's a little cloudy again today, but that's okay because we all know that you still get tan and still get sun with the clouds and it's still quite warm. So we're just hanging out. I'm gonna get ready for dinner soon, which is the best part about vacation, is like hanging out in the sun all day and then going and getting ready for dinner. The best feeling in the world. And I will pick the camera back up when I'm getting ready. Hey guys, we are getting ready to go for a nice walk on the beach. It's like 6 p.m. Our dinner reservation isn't until 8, so we have some time. We're gonna go outside, take some pictures, enjoy, enjoy the nice night. It is so beautiful outside. I don't wanna say it's like more beautiful outside at night, but it is like just so relaxing. And during the day, I'm so focused on like, just like my podcast and everything that at night, no one's really out, like the kids are out and it's just really peaceful to hear like the breeze and the water and the palm trees. So that's what we're gonna go do. This is the outfit. This is a top from Nasty Gal. I was just telling Jared, I don't think I've ever worn this top. I've tried and tried and tried and it never really worked with my style throughout the years. I wanna say I bought this when I was living in Carroll Gardens which means it must have been 2018 from Nasty Gal. It was probably like $15. It's like a lace-up scarf top. The only problem is I need to have Jared tuck these in because I think it's supposed to be straight, but I kind of like the halter and it's tighter around my chest because I have a small chest. So I need it as tight as possible. So I'm gonna have him either cut those off if he has scissors or tuck them in, whatever. Either way is fine. It's a little breezy out tonight. So I'm wearing some silk pants, which is very bold because I'm on my period. It's day two of my period. So it's very bold of me to be doing this, but I wanted to wear pants today and they're really comfortable. I just got done steaming them. I'm trying so hard not to crease them because I know I'm gonna get roasted on Instagram, roasted on TikTok for always wearing wrinkly clothes. <laughs> but I need to accessorize, so I wanted to show you what jewelry I'm gonna wear. I think for rings, obviously we have the classics, but I got these rings from Aster Resort recently, these two, and I'm obsessed with them. I love how gold they are and how they contrast with everything else, they're so bold. And then at the resort we're staying at, of course we have these like ugly bracelets. This is like the key to our room. So I brought this bangle to kind of try and hide it. And then I think I'm gonna go for my Saison starfish earrings. I have not worn these yet, so let's see how they look. Oh yeah, they're so cute. I knew they would be. All right, these are the earrings. So cute, let me show you the full fit. This is what it looks like. So cute, I feel very much like myself like this is a very kelsey coated outfit high-waisted pants little top i'll probably wear a nude pair of heels actually i think i have a white pair yeah this is the pair i got in spain from mango i'll probably slip these on yeah that looks perfect perfect 10 out of 10. so there is a wedding that's happening on the resort i think right now we can hear the violins and we're not going to crash the wedding but i definitely want to like <laughs> per se i just want to like look and see i want to see what the bride's wearing um i'm nosy and i think i think if you're getting married on a resort you want people to kind of peek in and look at the wedding yeah, and see what you're wearing part of the, the appeal for them right? right like they're not trying to be sneaky right there. <gasps> that's good lighting yeah. that's good lighting Jared on the content. We love to see it. Okay, so not only is this resort sort of quiet, I think the majority of the people that are staying here for Christmas will arrive tomorrow, but it's empty right now. And we just discovered this massive spotlight to take photos and to take videos. And there's a pole that I stuck my Octo Buddy on. 
it's the ideal situation. So it's empty, well lit, and a cat walked by. Three of my favorite things. <laughs> Obsessed. We're gonna take some more photos. Good morning. Sorry if the camera's blurry. It's a little humid out today, but it's overcast a little bit. So I'm just crossing my fingers that the clouds blow away and the sun pops out because I'll be pretty sad if it doesn't. but I'm so happy because Pickle doesn't have a lot of size medium larges and dresses are kind of tough for me. There's a lot of extra small smalls on the website. So I'm thrilled because this was on my Pinterest board for so long. Thrilled that she had it in a medium and it was really affordable. But we're down at the water, we're down at the ocean and it is just to die for. it really it really makes a difference especially at low light like this like my phone versus the Canon with a flash is night and day now we are starving and we're gonna go to dinner we have a reservation tonight at the steakhouse and I for one haven't had steak yet since eating meat have I I don't think I have so I'm pretty excited Jared and I are running to the opposite side of the resort because of the sunset. Oh my god, it's perfect. Okay. Oh no. Whatever. <laughs> I say we get. Oh my god, this looks so good. <laughs> Bubblegum. Bubblegum and chocolate. Classic pair. Hey guys, getting ready to go to the pool and I wanted to show you the bikini I'm wearing. This one's from Maj. It's a French brand. It's the sister brand to Sandro, if you guys didn't know that. But it's really cute. I've got my Levi's shorts on, this little belly chain that I got in LA from a brand called Alana Maria. Alana Marie, I believe. I think it's Australian. And my little Levi's booty shorts. It's a perfect day out. We were really nervous at first because the first two days we were here, it was so cloudy, so windy. Like the first time we were here, I was freezing because of the wind. And I know that sounds silly, but the wind was actually like so intense. I, it was like a 20 mile an hour wind. I don't know, it was really cold, but now it's definitely lightened up. The sun is out, the clouds are sparse, and we're ready to hit the pool. I am having the best time. I love resort life, it's the best. If you notice that my face is significantly lighter than my body, I have been piling on sunscreen on my face. 
I refuse to be wrinkly. <laughs> refuse i've been putting it on my hands my chest and my face like no one's business like i might have to go and run and get more sunscreen guys another night that i forgot to show you my outfit so jared's gonna hold the camera i don't know if you can see maybe if i go in the light oh that's perfect actually so i'm wearing this dress from rue stick i posted about it on my tiktok and my instagram it's very pretty a little see-through which i sort of love on vacation wow your flashlight's really giving me a spotlight mm -hmm. um but yeah it's christmas eve and we're gonna go get some dinner Happy Christmas. Yeah, but like, that's weird. Why is it weird if people say it? It's Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry. Okay, Scrooge. I'm gonna play this back so you can see your face. A Christmas morning feast. That looks really good. About my parfait. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. <laughs> a big update. A big tragic update. Kelsey has been stung by a Christmas bee. <laughs> it hurts so much. Look at it. Wait, yeah. you're not doing it. Yeah, yeah, but it's there. It's huge. What do you have to say to it? Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, I had to pull the stinger out. You're like I bear girls, you said? I am like bear girls. I thought it was a hair like falling because my or falling because my hair has been like itching my back all night. No, it's just a fucking bee coming and praying for my downfall. <laughs> this is how I'm comforting her. <laughs> ew, ew. Merry Christmas. We're getting ready to go to dinner. Tonight is the hibachi night. We're very hungry, very excited. And this is the fit. The dress is from Pickle that I rented. It's um, a brand called Kiki Vargas. So beautiful. It's a bit heavy and weighing down. I have so much fashion tape around my chest right now. But we actually, let me see if I can give you a full fit. I look like a little present. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I was happy to rent it because it's a pretty expensive dress. The shoes and then the earrings are from a brand called um, Lilit. Lilit NYC, I think is how you pronounce it. But this is it. We are going to two different Christmas parties. I think I'm going to have to change. It's so uncomfortable. It keeps falling down. But the pictures are going to look so good so we came down to like the pool beach area to take some photos and i'm beside myself because the moon wait i think i'm covering it oh it's behind this palm tree is so beautiful i just googled it and it said it's 94 percent illuminated so it looks massive it looks huge and it looks like a full moon it's not but it's so beautiful hold on let me show you is that not so stunning and beautiful wait I mean, it just looks like a circle, but it's beautiful, I promise. A little emotional by the ocean, looking 
beautiful sunset and the moon because today is the last day in my 20s and I'm feeling old and very, I don't know, I'm feeling like, I feel young but I'm turning 30. It's just like a very confusing feeling and all I want to do is cry. <laughs> To my beautiful daughter, happy 30th birthday. I love you so much and I am so very proud of your every accomplishment that you've made in life. This is going to be a good year for you. Happy birthday. I love you, mom. Happy 30th birthday, Kelsey. I hope you're having the best time on the beach and I can't wait to get a big fat slice of Martha's cheesecake with you. Love you. Bye. Happy 30th birthday, Kelsey. I hope you have a passion fruit marg in hand and no one pisses you off all day. I can't wait to see what you do with your 30th year of life. I know it will be fabulous no matter what. You are the best and I love you and I love you and I love you and I wish I could squeeze you. Hi, my Kelsey. It's early, it's 9:10, but I thought you probably were up by now enjoying the sun. Happy birthday, my little girl. I just can't believe you're 30 years old. Oh my God. Unbelievable. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope Jared treats you very, very special. I love you so much. Have a good day. Happy birthday, my Kelsey. Bye-bye. Tonight is a full moon on my birthday, on my 30th birthday. I feel like that's that means something. I feel like the universe is saying something to me. I don't know what yet, but look at how stunning this moon is tonight. It's huge. I hope it picks it up. Look at that. <gasps> oh my God, it's beautiful. Out of focus, shit. Before we leave, I'm gonna give you a little room tour because our room was actually so nice. I'm in the back closet right now. They give you a bag to go to the pool with, but here's like a little closet which turns into the bathroom with this gorgeous tub that we didn't use a single time, a shower and a toilet, the double sinks, which is so necessary. I will miss this so much when we go back to New York. And it has like a little curtain. And then you walk in here, you've got this desk area where we've put like all of our bags and things. I had my shoes lined up over here, full length mirror, so nice and then into the king size bed which was pretty comfortable i'd say um the blanket was a little light i wish it was a little bit warmer but it worked out another mirror right here television here are the birthday balloons that they set up for me <laughs> which was really nice um we had a couch here and then the view this was one of the adult pools um, but there's like four other pools on the resort and I think it worked out really nicely So that's the adult pool we were at literally every single day and then back there you can see is the ocean Hey guys yesterday was my birthday, which you saw a little bit of but Today we've done nothing but lay by the pool Hang out Jared watched some soccer games and I was listening to Jessica Simpson's audiobook which is so good. I sort of wish I read it in a physical book and not just listened to it because it sort of feels like I'm cheating. It feels like I'm listening to a podcast and not necessarily an audiobook. Like I don't feel like that satisfaction of flipping the page. But I think next time I'll be a little bit more prepared on vacation and I'll bring like physical books or maybe I'll get a Kindle, I don't know. But 
tonight's our last night. We just took some photos in this like sparkly pink dress that I brought from Free People. I this is like a kind of low key resort. Um, now I can say I'm at we're at the Paradisus um, in Punta Cana. It's the Paradisus Palma Real, and it's very family oriented. It's very beautiful. I would recommend it, but no one's really dressing up and that's okay but i sort of feel a little uncomfortable wearing like these like sparkly dresses so every night that i've worn something i've worn it for a little bit taken some photos enjoyed myself enjoyed the outfit but felt a little weird going to dinner wearing you know gowns and these like outrageous dresses like that red dress for christmas I couldn't sit in that. We went to hibachi that night. Like, there's no way I would I would have looked insane sitting at the hibachi table with that beautiful red dress. So that's what we did. I shot that pink one, changed into this free people one that you guys have seen a million times before on my Instagram. I wore this all last summer. I had the pink and brown version too. But yeah, so we just took some more photos and we fly home tomorrow. We're so excited. I miss the cats. We can't stop talking about it. We miss Ricky and we miss Rob, Pablo and Gigi so much. <laughs> like, I don't know what we will do when we have actual kids. Maybe we won't miss them as much as the cats. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy the last night, go to the, go to the buffet, eat some food, uh, pack, and then we leave pretty early tomorrow morning. So I guess that's the end of the vlog. We really enjoyed our time here. I love DR. I've been here before, Jared's been here before. We each went in high school when we were like 17, 18. Um, it's a very different experience than what we had when we were in our teens. But turning 30 here, turning 30 here was very nice, very relaxing, much needed. I think this might have been my favorite birthday. I think, I think like being removed from home in a way that's like my choice because usually on my 30th birthday or sorry usually on my birthday except my 21st my friends really showed up for that one all of my birthdays have been kind of quiet very low-key all of my friends and family are home I'm usually in Brooklyn or with Jared in Boston or Kansas and it's very low-key but sort of sad because I know other people are with their families and can't necessarily like celebrate me but this year I decided to do that with Jared obviously and having that decision of like removing myself so that I can enjoy my birthday and do what I want which is lay by the pool I mean it's where the, I'm the happiest I love I love the beach I love getting dressed up at night to go to dinner I love being tan I love like feeling the warmth on my skin that's like where I'm truly the happiest so coming here was the best decision I think I didn't cry on my birthday I usually do I mean I feel like everyone does I cried happy tears because I was like just emotional from everyone's messages but I usually am like sort of sad but this year I wasn't and I think this year is going to be really fun. I think 30 is going to be very satisfying. We're getting married. Hopefully we'll move <laughs> into a bigger apartment <laughs> by the time the year ends. And I'm just really excited for what's to come. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.